Well, you know, in just a couple of hours, these gates right behind me at Warren Mott High School, they'll be opening for football practice to kick off the opening of the 2022-2023 season. But what really is bothersome is the rude fans and the heckling that officials have to endure during the season. And that is why we're seeing a referee shortage. Being a referee at any profession is not an easy job, especially at the not pro levels of elementary school, middle school, and high school sports. Just ask Brent Rice, who runs the officials program over at the Michigan High School Athletic Association. In the entire state were short. Um, in fact, the entire nation, I just got back from a conference, the entire nation remained short of officials. But in Michigan, we've had a steady decline of officials for over a decade, with 3 to 5% leaving annually. And with COVID, the referee shortage took even a bigger hit. It caused us to have to re-rack and, and rethink the way that we do things around here, especially affected local associations. Jeff Kimmerly with the Michigan High School Athletic Association says that in 2012, they had over 10,000 officials, but in 2022, they had just over 8,000 officials refereeing games across the state for both boys and girls sports. And coming out of COVID, they've seen a bounce back. These are simply people that we need to have uh, available to have games. It's not something that we can do without them. They're indispensable. But Root fans are the biggest problem officials face. One of the biggest confusions fans make is collegiate rules versus high school rules. The number one reason why officials say that they're either getting out of officiating or won't get into officiating is because of bad behavior by adult coaches and spectators. Head coach Tom Milanoff with Warrenmont High School says they have not had any problems yet with the officiating shortage. Our assigner, you know, for the MAC does a great job and you know and takes care of us. I know that it's it's stretched thin though, and, and uh, there is a shortage, uh, but we've been very lucky. And so be kind to those officials and referees that are out here, you know, monitoring and calling those calls for your uh, boys and girls that are out here. But coming up on the next half hour, we're going to be breaking down the symptoms of a concussion and also the symptoms of dehydration. That's a story you really want to tune in for to make sure that your kids are staying healthy and safe during practice and games. Reporting in Warren, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yeah, safety first for sure. We look forward to those reports. Thank you so much, Peter.